Welcome everyone to Devo's Weed Chronicles. I am he, Devo. How's it going, y'all? Enjoying a little Afghan this morning, this afternoon, this evening. Whatever time it is, I hope you're happy. You know what time it is in here. Hit them if you got them, guys. What's that? Oh, yes, I am wearing my Two Rivers Cannabis Company. <sighs> Gore, Oklahoma, guys. Stop in there for gummies, dabs, free rolls, flour, anything you need, they got it. Stop on in there. Ah! Very medicated, feeling very good. Man, if you guys ain't never been in here before, hit that like button, the subscribe, and the bell. It would be greatly appreciated. Whew. Okay, guys. This is one of these. Hmm. You know, I, I guess I told you guys earlier, if you've watched some of these other videos, man, you know that I'm half Native American. I'm half Cherokee. Well, uh, we used to stay with our grandparents, which were full blood Cherokee. Uh, my grandmother, she spoke English fluently and Cherokee, but my grandfather spoke in broken English and Cherokee. He could understand what we were saying, but he would answer us in Cherokee. You know, confused me because they didn't really sit around and, and kind of help me with my turkey like they did the other ones because I was a little lighter colored. If you would, no, that ain't the reason why I was stubborn. I wouldn't learn it. That's why. But we used to stay, uh, stay with grandmother all the time, you know, and, uh, man, the place that they lived, I don't know if it was because they moved. They had an old grandpa tore down his smoke, smoke shop, smoke shack and rebuilt it, brought it Board for board, all the way from, and log for log, all the way from Stillwell, a place where he lived in the, in the woods, man, and brought it back, and they lived in town, never lived in town before, um, and he rebuilt that, and he had that out there, and he had a couple of shacks out there that he tore down from his previous place and brought to this new place and set it up. It was like a house. He brought his old house and rebuilt it. And had everything set back up in it as if he lived in it on the mountain back there. Him and grandmother. <clears throat> him and, gra and my mom and all my uncles, aunts, all of them, man. And it was crazy. I can't remember going in. We didn't get to go in there and play or nothing, but we could walk through there. And it was like a museum. Everything in there was like from old time. You know, the stove was a wood stove. You had to use wood. and um, Like, I mean, you know. Just weird stuff. Even kitchen utensils, man. It was like a house. Had a bedroom and everything. It was like, it was a house, but it was just thrown up there. And they, had, it was weird, man. It was like they could go back in time and go in there. It was weird. But anyway, why I said all this, I said all that to say this. One night we were at my grandmother's and there was always weird crap going on, man, in that house. Outside the house, in the other houses. And, uh. One night we were there, and I was, my aunt, uh, the youngest aunt, uh, she was probably 10 years older than me. Look, she's a lot older than me. So uh, she wasn't there, so we was going to, uh, me and uh, my little brother, my cousin, a couple of my cousins, male cousins, we're all sleeping in this queen-size bed in this one room, my cousin's room, my, my aunt's, I mean my aunt's room. We're all covered up in there, and we're giggling, you know, and and uh, Grandma comes in, and y'all better be quiet. And uh, my aunt was telling the story. She says, if you boys live in my room, y'all better not mess with nothing, or that man's going to get you that comes out of my closet. Oh, great. So here we are. Thinking, I'm thinking about watching, you know. <clears throat> it's dark, late. Everybody's snoring. We're in there. I'm the only one awake. I have to use the restroom, so I get up, and I go to the restroom. I get out when I come back. As I was walking through the darkness of the hallway of my grandmother's, she has a big mirror at the end of, end of the hallway, and her bedroom's over here, and then I came from the bedroom over here, and then there's a mirror. Well, it kind of freaked myself out. 
I walked around a corner in the light in the back, I guess. I could see the reflection of me, and it scared the living crap out of me. And grandmother woke up, and she said, I told you, didn't I? I told you them people in the uh, mirror is going to get you if you don't go to bed and be good. And uh, <clears throat> So we, I kind of got settled down a little bit. She put me back in bed. <clears throat> I was probably 12, 13. I wasn't 13 because I was driving and running around town by that age. So I was probably 11, 12. And uh, I went and laid back down. And uh, it's there's two windows, one at the end of the bed that, you know, faces the highway. And then another one on this side of the bed, which faces the pasture at my grandfather's house. So, you know, I'm sitting there staring out the window and the stars and I'm thinking, man, it's got to be getting close to daylight. I'm scared. You know, I scared myself to death looking at myself in the mirror. Well, all of a sudden the door opens up. Uh, I've seen, I, I kind of act like I was asleep, you know, because I didn't want my grandmother freaking out and, you know, lecturing me or making me listen to her uh, read the Bible or something, you know, or read to me. <clears throat> in Cherokee, you know, I don't understand, but yeah, the door opens. So I, I act like I'm asleep, you know, and the door opens, and I see it crack. And I thought, oh, man, that's crazy. She's going to check. So I pull the covers up over my head like that, and I hear it go, <coughs> shut. I'm, I'm, I pull the covers back down. When I pull the covers back down, folks, the closet and the door is facing right here by my head, and there's a closet right there, and then the window's right here, okay? There was something standing right at the foot of my bed by the closet, a black figure. And when I pulled the covers off my head, I caught the top part of the outline of its head and the shoulder part. And I, before I could cover my head back up, I seen the whole thing, the silhouette. And in my mind, I was thinking, oh, God, I, man, I hope that, oh, that's Grandma. She's going to scare me. That's what it is. Grandma's going to scare me. Grandma's going to scare me. I'm like, I know it's you, Grandmother. And I pull the covers back and there ain't nothing there. Door shut. The closet that was open, and it's one of those sliding ones, the closet was open, and I could see, because I can remember seeing something like a shoebox or something up there, and I was reading it, trying to, you know, it was shut. <laughs> I covered my head back up. Sunlight comes back up. We're eating breakfast. And, uh, grandmother's like, well, did you, uh, I went last night. <laughs> did you scare yourself? And I said, grandmother, did you come in the room last night after I went to bed? She said, I don't know. I went to sleep. I said, did you hear any doors slamming or nothing? And she said, oh, you feel hard noises. You're just, you're just, you're hearing things. There is nothing in this house. There's no, uh, there's no skillies in this house, which means booger man or whatever in Cherokee. And I was like, hmm, okay. And she said, why? What'd you see? I didn't see anything. I mean, later on I did, but when she said, what did you see? I thought, oh my goodness, my aunt wasn't lying. There's something in this house. <sighs> yeah, not only me, but my other cousins has witnessed it. But we've never witnessed this as a group. It always singles one person out that hasn't slept or, is, you know, is awake or, you know. And, uh, yeah, the house is still standing. Matter of fact, my aunt, my young aunt that I was telling you about, she still lives there. When I go to visit, I said, do you still see spooky stuff? She said, oh, I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. True story. Hey, thank you guys for coming in and listening. I know it was kind of a long one, but, um, hey, it was a long one. That's what she said. Be kind to each other. And keep smoking.